The James Webb Telescope is commended as the chief worldwide observatory in the domain of room science, recognizing itself through its unmatched abilities and desires dissimilar to any other instrument before it. The Webb Telescope's central goal is immense and significant, including the investigation of our own solar system while reaching a long way past to explore far-off galaxies and stars light years away. Its mission isn't just to observe these celestial bodies, but also to delve deep into the fundamental structures of the universe itself, aiming to understand the universe's multifaceted intricacies and, critically, our place within it. In a groundbreaking effort, researchers recently directed the telescope's impressive gaze toward a star located a stunning 120 light years from Earth. The discoveries from this endeavor have been absolutely remarkable. The telescope has uncovered evidence of carbon-based molecules inside the atmosphere of what might be an ocean world beyond our planet, a revelation that has left the cosmic community astounded. This discovery prompts us to ask how such an astounding revelation was indeed even possible. This advancement provides us with an enticing glimpse into a planet vastly different from any within our solar system, testing our understanding and raising new intriguing questions about the potential for habitable worlds and the farthest reaches of the universe. This discovery marks the beginning of a journey to uncover even more about this perplexing exoplanet. For those captivated by the secrets of the universe and eager to stay informed about such significant advancements, we welcome you to subscribe to our channel. This way, you can ensure you're always fully informed about the latest cosmic revelations. Remember to share this video with others to spread the information and activate the notification bell so you never miss an update. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently made a critical and profoundly important discovery regarding the exoplanet known as K2-18b. This exoplanet, which has a mass roughly 8.6 times that of Earth, has been the subject of intense study. The Webb Telescope's advanced sensors have detected the presence of carbon-based compounds, specifically methane and carbon dioxide, within the atmosphere of K2-18b. This discovery builds upon previous research and supports the hypothesis that K2-18b could be a planet with conditions suitable for life. The presence of a hydrogen-rich atmosphere combined with what appears to be an ocean-covered surface suggests that this exoplanet might be capable of supporting life or, at the very least, conditions conducive to it. The initial investigation of K2-18b's atmospheric properties was conducted with the Hubble Space Telescope, which significantly enhanced our understanding of this distant world. Found 120 light years from Earth in the constellation Leo, K2-18b orbits a cool, small star known as K2-18, which lies within the so-called habitable zone, the region around a star where conditions might be right for liquid water and, by extension, life. Planets like K2-18b, which fall between Earth and Neptune in size, are a rare and intriguing class, especially considering that our own solar system lacks similar planets in close proximity. The scarcity of such planets makes K2-18b an especially important subject for study. The possibility that K2-18b harbors a significant amount of carbon and exists within a hydrogen-rich atmosphere is particularly intriguing to astronomers. Some experts speculate that such planets could offer the most promising conditions for the search for extraterrestrial life. The specific combination of methane and carbon dioxide in K2-18b's atmosphere, along with a notable absence of ammonia, lends further credibility to the idea that this exoplanet might indeed have an ocean beneath its hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. Early observations also hinted at the possible presence of a compound known as dimethyl sulfide, which on Earth is produced solely by biological processes, especially those involving marine phytoplankton. The presence of dimethyl sulfide in K2-18b's atmosphere, if confirmed, would be an exceptional sign of potential life. However, current data on dimethyl sulfide is not conclusive, and more robust evidence is needed to validate this claim. Future observations using the Webb telescope are expected to provide further clarity on this matter potentially confirming the presence of dimethyl sulfide in significant amounts. A researcher from the University of Cambridge has commented on the implications of these findings, noting that while K2-18b is indeed located within a habitable zone and contains carbon compounds, this does not necessarily mean that the planet can support life. The planet's size, with a radius 2.6 times that of Earth, suggests that its core is likely surrounded by a massive high-pressure mantle of ice 
much like Neptune's structure. This implies that while K2-18b has a thinner hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an ocean-covered surface, the conditions within these oceans may be too extreme or unsuitable for life as we know it. Despite this, researchers have succeeded in capturing the most detailed atmospheric spectrum ever obtained for a habitable sub-Neptune, allowing them to identify the molecular composition of its atmosphere with remarkable accuracy. A scientist from Cardiff University explained that this achievement was made possible by meticulously analyzing the light transmitted by K2-18b's host star as it passed through the exoplanet's atmosphere. K2-18b is classified as a transiting exoplanet, meaning that its brightness diminishes when it crosses in front of its host star from our vantage point. This dimming is how NASA's K2 mission initially identified K2-18b. The transit method allows a small portion of the star's light to filter through the exoplanet's atmosphere before, reaching telescopes like the Webb, enabling astronomers to study the composition of the atmosphere by examining these light signals. Moving forward, the research team plans to use the Webb telescope's mid-infrared spectrograph to further investigate K2-18b's atmospheric conditions with the goal of confirming their initial findings and uncovering new information about the planet's atmosphere. Their ultimate objective is to identify signs of subsurface activity on habitable exoplanets, an endeavor that could significantly alter our understanding of the universe and our place within it. In addition to its investigation of K2-18b, the James Webb Space Telescope has also made other significant discoveries that continue to expand our knowledge of the universe. For example, Astronomers using the Webb telescope have identified complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy that are similar in nature to the smoke or smog we find on Earth. This discovery represents the earliest known occurrence of such molecules in the universe, marking a milestone in human history. These findings are both surprising and groundbreaking, as they challenge our understanding of cosmology and suggest that the universe was capable of producing complexity much earlier than previously thought. To provide some context, the light that astronomers detected from this early galaxy began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, while the universe itself is roughly 13.8 billion years old today. This means that we are observing the early stages of the universe's development, so to speak. The most remarkable aspect of this discovery is that it was made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has the potential to make such observations for nearly a billion more years. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge further back in time, we may yet uncover more of these complex molecules, perhaps from a period even closer to the Big Bang. This raises significant questions about our understanding of science and cosmology. Until the advent of the Webb Telescope, previous efforts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only confirm their presence or absence. However, Webb's primary mission now allows us to pinpoint the exact locations of these molecules within the galaxy providing insights into their distribution and concentration. Interestingly, the non-uniform distribution of these molecules in the early galaxy, known as SP411847, remains a mystery that researchers have yet to fully unravel. What is even more striking is that this early galaxy, despite being only one-tenth the age of our Milky Way, was already as large as our own galaxy and had produced as much carbon and oxygen as the stars in the Milky Way. As humanity continues to venture into the unknown, armed with ever-expanding knowledge and a deeper understanding of the universe, we are constantly reminded of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. Each new scientific advancement brings us one step closer to unraveling the secrets hidden among the stars. As our network of cosmic exploration grows, it is only a matter of time before the universe reveals even more of its mysteries shedding new light on the profound questions we seek to answer. As we continue to explore the universe with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, new discoveries are continually reshaping our understanding of cosmic phenomena. One of the most exciting aspects of these revelations is the potential to learn about the early universe and the formation of cosmic structures. For instance, the Webb Telescope's ability to capture images and data from extremely distant galaxies offers a glimpse into the conditions that prevailed shortly after the Big Bang. This understanding helps researchers unravel the puzzle of cosmic evolution and the formation of the first galaxies, stars, and planets. 
The study of exoplanets like K2-18b is particularly exciting because it opens up additional possibilities for finding extraterrestrial life. Researchers are interested not only in whether life exists elsewhere but also in how different such life forms might be. By examining the atmospheres of distant planets, scientists can look for biomarkers, indicators that life processes may be occurring. These biomarkers could include a variety of chemical compounds or patterns commonly associated with biological activity. Moreover, the Webb Telescope's cutting-edge technology allows for exceptional observations of star-forming regions and stellar nurseries. These areas are crucial for understanding how stars and planetary systems form and evolve over time. By studying the light emitted from these regions, astronomers can gain insights into the processes leading to the formation of new stars and planets as well as the conditions that may be necessary for the development of habitable worlds. In addition to studying distant galaxies and exoplanets, the Webb Telescope is also providing valuable information about the formation and evolution of our own Milky Way galaxy. By observing distinct regions of the galaxy, researchers can map its structure, understand the distribution of stars and interstellar matter, and gain insights into the processes that have shaped its evolution. This information is essential for understanding the broader context in which our solar system exists and for piecing together the history of our universe. One particularly intriguing area of research involves the study of cosmic microwave background radiation. This faint glow of radiation is a remnant of the Big Bang and carries crucial information about the early universe. By analyzing this radiation, scientists can gain insights into the conditions that existed shortly after the universe began. The Webb Telescope's observations can complement data from other missions, such as the Planck satellite, to provide a more comprehensive picture of the universe's earliest stages. The technological advancements of the James Webb Space Telescope also extend to its ability to observe phenomena across various frequencies. While previous telescopes have focused on specific parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, Webb's instruments cover a wide range of frequencies, from ultraviolet to mid-infrared. This broad range of observation allows scientists to study different cosmic processes and phenomena in greater detail, leading to more comprehensive and nuanced understandings of the universe. In addition to its scientific contributions, the Webb Telescope plays a significant role in inspiring the next generation of astronomers and scientists. By capturing stunning images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and other celestial phenomena, the telescope sparks curiosity and wonder about the universe. These images often capture the imagination of students and young scientists, encouraging them to pursue careers in science and engineering. Furthermore, the collaborative nature of the Webb Telescope's mission highlights the importance of international cooperation in space exploration. The telescope is a joint effort involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. This collaboration brings together expertise and resources from around the world, demonstrating the global commitment to advancing human knowledge and exploring the universe. As technology continues to advance, future space missions and telescopes will build upon the foundation laid by the Webb Telescope. These future missions may include even more powerful observatories or specialized instruments designed to probe specific aspects of the universe. Each new mission will contribute to the ongoing effort to understand the cosmos and our place within it. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope represents a remarkable leap forward in our ability to explore and understand the universe. Its groundbreaking discoveries, from the study of distant exoplanets to the observation of early galaxies, are reshaping our knowledge of cosmic phenomena and providing new insights into the fundamental processes governing the universe. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, the Webb Telescope will undoubtedly play a crucial role in uncovering the mysteries of the cosmos and inspiring future generations of researchers and explorers.